All right, everybody, you know where we are. That's right, we're here at the New York Marriott Marquis in New York City Times Square. These elevators are Schindler Port, originally installed by Westinghouse, modernized in 2007 to Myconic 10, and then ported in 2019. That being said, we're gonna ride the high-rise elevators in this video. Card D. One. Right. And the fire cabinet's stuck open, but we're not gonna use it. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. These are fast. Here we are at one. Alrighty. Alright. Now we're gonna head up to 45. D again. Alright. Hotel's not fairly busy right now. I tried filming this yesterday. It was busy as packed. It was busy as heck yesterday. Here we go. Three. Here we are at 45. All right. Let's get a view. There goes Cardi. So up here, 4501 to 4524. Look at that. That is so um, that this is a this this place in general is amazing. There's Cardi still waiting there, sitting for me. Up, oh, there it goes. Okay, we're gonna get a different one, definitely. Funny fact is, if you're on the, um, the regular floors and you scan your key, um, this is what it does. It doesn't do anything. Wait a minute. Yeah, it just doesn't do anything. So we're going to go to 1E. E. You know what? I'm gonna, I need the still. And here it is. These things are not busy. All right, before we go anywhere, let's get a cab view. Very nice elevators. Well, here we go down. Let's go. There's some at one Vanderbilt. And we're stopping. Here we are at one. Back up to 45. This time we'll do handicap mode. This group serves floor 49 through minus 1. Please 45. Car D. Yeah. 
There's the security desk. I'm trying myself. I'm trying to make sure I'm not visible to the security personnel. Uh, this isn't going to 8, this is going to 45. Doors closed slower in handicap mode. We'll watch the indicators this time. Here we are at 45. We can try my key. Here goes car D. All right, let's go back down to one. You know what? Um, yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to one. No, we're gonna let car D go. I want to get a different one. There it goes. And A. Probably my least favorite one out of all of them because it has the worst view. But hey, we can at least swing around here and watch it come up. And here it is. And now we're going to go catch it. No, I don't want wide angle. I want standard. Here it is. This is the one with the glitchy indicator, I think. Yep. Just as I thought. Wait a minute, this one has a faint four, uh, five, and we're stopping. This one has a faint 500A chime, apparently. One of the few that do. Thank you so much. Anyway, let's go back up to 45. This time we're going to do keypad entry. Hey again. It's going to take a minute to shut. This one, that is a glitch. That one's the glitchy indicator. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's get a better cab view of this thing. We're gonna have to do this one on wide angle. Alrighty. We're gonna send car A um, to straight. We're gonna let that one go down. We're gonna let A leave. And then we're going to try to get M or N. I haven't gotten internal yet. But this time we're gonna go to one, uh, to eight. I don't wanna keep going one with security presence on one. Not that it matters, but it's just better to be safe than sorry. E. I mean, we started on eight, so I don't think it matters. Plus I do need to film the low rise, which I will do after breakfast. Also, here are the low rise over here. Oh, this is new. I don't think any elevator enthusiast has seen this yet. And here's E. They put fencing in front of the low rise bank. They put fencing in front of the low rise bank um, on 45. Probably all the other guest floors too. There's F, it's broken, sadly. It's been broken for the entire stay time I've been staying here. Here we are at eight. Anyway, I gotta talk over the music, there it goes, and that's it.
All right, we're back at the New York Marriott Marquis in New York City Times Square. And in the last video, we did the high-rise elevators. In this video, we're going to do the low-rise elevators. The high-rise elevators will come out soon if they're not already out. That being said, we're gonna go up to 27. been a breeze so far. We're, this is bank N. I forget what bank is that the high rises, but I think, I think the high rise is O, but waiting on car J to arrive. I'm not going to spend too much time on the low rise because it's um, because the low floors is where the convention is happening. I don't even know where J is. Up here it is. I'm gonna point the camera down because I figured there were gonna be people in it. Oh my gosh. That's where we're that's where it's all going. Floor's just set. Here we go. That's a of course we're stopping at the lobby there goes um there goes i Stopping at 15, nobody got on. So we're just gonna get a view out over here. And a useless stop at 15 because nobody's here. There's P and O. But here's the key card. We are at 27. Up there is the famous 28th floor where 
an elevator enthusiast has stayed before. Wait, we're gonna go back to one. We got G this time. And yep, J already left. I don't even know where G is. G tends to go all over the place because just like its brother F over there, G likes G also goes to the V restaurant. And F is broken, by the way. Here it is. Cabinet of G, by the way, is locked now. And no, even if it was open, I would not attempt going to 49. I would not attempt to go on 49. Right. You guys going down? There's the gym. There you go. There's the full photo of the fitness center. Oh my gosh. Going down? Yes. Wow, this thing is shaky. This thing's bouncing. <clears throat> Filming the high rise was definitely not this difficult. Here you're at the lobby. I'm gonna close the door. There's the Revel and Bride restaurant. convention there are like five or six or seven conventions happening at this hotel right now i hope we can get a non-stop trip up but i don't know how successful we will be i'm not going to spend too much time on these things though here we are at one there's the guest services desk by the way Thank you. Thanks. All right. Let's go back up to 27. Surprisingly, this isn't very busy. I would hop on I because it's here.
mostly non-stop right eye. Here we are at 27, where we're going to go back to one. Thank you. You're welcome. Hold on a second. Um, will I be able to catch this one little one? You know what? I'll let that one go. There it goes. G again. Or get a photo of that. And here it is. Hopefully a non-stop ride down, but I doubt it. People are moving all over the place. Your clothes works in this one. Then we'll go to 27. Yep, do it. <laughs> There's F, by the way. Coming down. coming now. One thing is that most of the keypads have their key card readers like key card reader lights burnt out. Here we are. Here it is. Oh my gosh. There. 
Here we are at 27. Now we're gonna end on the floor I'm staying on. We did talk to him. Guess what we're gonna go into today. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, guys. All right. Now, when you want to go to just your guest floor, it's really simple. This is what happens. Just take your key. See, it sends you straight to 24 where my room is. And we're going to get car K. It's really amazing how John, uh, this is a John Portman building. It really amazes me how they constructed this place. Rooms here are very nice too. Here comes Kay. I can see the cables moving. And here it is. Hopefully, no one's getting off. Oh, never mind. It's on another floor. Here it is coming up here, I think. Right, it's a couple floors below us, but I hear keypads chiming on other floors. This video is much longer than my, my first video of the high rise because of how busy these things are. And I didn't take as many rides on this as I did on the high rise. You know what, let's get a cab view since nobody's in here. Door equipment. Beautiful. Destination indicator. I needed wide angle for that cab view because of how the design is. Here we go. Down to 24. Door 24. You know what I mean? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You Have a great day, guys. You too. Thanks. There it goes. And that's going to be it.